Roughly a month ago, the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses made one of the biggest changes, uh, overturning a decades-long tradition where you'd basically be punished or blacklisted if you want, wanted to wear a beard. Yes, you heard that correctly. Grown men are out there waiting for eight guys that live in New York City to tell them it's okay for them to wear a beard. When all of this happened, I made a few videos on it, and I did make a prediction that it wouldn't be you know, months until we saw a governing body member that was wearing a beard. And someone sent me this picture the other day. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, boy, howdy. Wouldn't you know it? Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome back to the JW Thoughts channel. My name is Wally and today, yes, I have a few more things to say about beards because it, something popped in my head when I saw this picture. Now, first off, I can't verify whether or not this is accurate or maybe it was photoshopped or some goofy prank. So I'll, I'll, I'll at least say that, but if there's anyone in Bethel that wants to confirm this, that'd be awesome. Now, as I thought about what the perception of other Jehovah's Witnesses that maybe are a little bit hesitant about, oh, well, why are they making this change? Why are we all of a sudden allowed to wear beards? Why is Wally wearing a scarf inside? I don't have the answers to all these questions. But anyway, um, <clears throat> one of the things that I thought is there are going to be people that are stumbled by this. They're going to be offended. They're not going to like this uh, very this change very much because it kind of changes the entire identity of Jehovah's Witnesses. Yet, if, if in the past the reasons that they would give for not allowing someone to wear a beard is because they didn't want anyone to be stumbled. <clears throat> now, let me just play a clip of a talk by Stephen Lett that really proves this point. But now, what about in an area? where we have a scriptural right to do something. Now surely exercising that right, if it stumbles someone, we can't be held accountable for that, can we? Well, open up to 1 Corinthians chapter 8. And here, very interestingly, this scripture answers that question. I don't think it means what you think it means. It says, but keep watching that your right to choose does not somehow become a stumbling block to those who are weak. Isn't that interesting? Even our right to choose, if it would stumble someone, we wouldn't exercise that right according to this scripture. The Apostle Paul, in verse 13 of that same chapter, he said he wouldn't even eat meat ever again if it stumbled his brother. Well, like Paul, are we willing to forego our rights regarding, for example, wearing a beard, wearing heavy makeup, uh, using alcohol is just a few examples. If exercising that right might even possibly stumble someone. So his entire talk is basically about how to not offend other Jehovah's Witnesses by anything that you do because it could cause them to lose their spirituality. They could leave the congregation, blah, blah, blah. So the reasons for not doing it, and this is just a few years ago, and he says clearly like, well, why would you insist on your personal freedom? to wear a beard if it might stumble someone. Well, couldn't you apply that exact same logic <clears throat> in this situation? The governing body, I'm sure, are aware that there are people that are Jehovah's Witnesses that are going to be stumbled by this. They will be offended, and it might even cause them to just get up and leave and stop being a Jehovah's Witness. And yet they don't care, which is such a strange power dynamic when you really think about it. Because they are allowed to insist on their personal freedoms. They are the rule makers. And yet they're telling everyone else, <clears throat> hey, don't insist on your personal freedoms. They, they were sitting around like, you know what, I would really like to grow a beard. And now the governing body just gets to up and say, yeah, it's okay now because we want to do it. Wouldn't that be them insisting on their personal freedoms? The real problem here is that 
they're altering this whole concept of humility because for years and years throughout Watchtower's history, they tied this into being a humble person. Here's an excerpt from their insight on the scriptures, volume one under humility. And it says, uh, works for peace. Humility promotes peace. A humble person does not fight his Christian brothers in order to establish his supposed personal rights. The apostle argued that though he had the freedom to do all things, he would do only the things that are up building. And if a brother's conscience was bothered by his personal actions, he would refrain, refrain from that practice. So this is by Watchtower's own words, their own, their own doctrine, this act of the governing body saying, okay, you guys can wear beards now, and so can we, it is demonstrably a lack of humility. In, in, their, in their doctrine, if you insist on your personal freedoms or your apparent freedoms, then you are not a humble person, you shouldn't be in a position of power, you shouldn't get any privileges, we're going to have to, like, basically make your life miserable if you insist on wanting to have a beard. So I just found it really interesting that it was so quick. I, I, I thought maybe that prediction that it wouldn't be very long, and then I guess you never can really downplay the absolute hubris of these guys. They literally think God is talking through them, so I suppose it absolutely makes makes perfect sense. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, give you guys that little update on that thing I saw. Again, allegedly, I don't know if it was photoshopped, <clears throat> but I need to get some water because I can't talk anymore. With all of that being said, if you're still around, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps to get out to more people on YouTube. Stay safe, be kind, and show yourself the same kindness that you show to others. And have a good ass day.